Check. One, two, three. Again, I've posted segments over and over. A five-minute segment at least. At least. A five-minute segment at least. Again. Again. For two years, I met at the 404 Bayonet Street Coast Guard Extension Crisis Counseling Office. An attempt for social services, DCF, Connecticut State Social Services, DCF, an attempt, an attempt social services, DCF, at the 404 Bayonet Street Coast Guard Crisis Counseling Office. It was before Dead and Company, Boston, and after Dead and Company, Boston. For the next EST two full years. So what's the story is Ethan McCutcheon wound up with Chelsea Marcel, Chelsea Mickle, and two kids, Danielle and Celine. I don't know their father, Tom. I don't care to know their father, Tom. I am not their babysitter any longer. Earlier, I was getting in touch with DCF, DCF, Connecticut State Social Services, Connecticut State Social Services, DCF, to watch them in the backyard, and that's that. They get hurt, I drag them out the back fence into the ambulance, or into the house with Chelsea Mickle, Chelsea Marcel, Ethan McCutcheon, and that's that. Ethan McCutcheon and Chelsea Marcel wound up conceiving a baby eventually. Good for them. Danielle and Celine were about 10 years of age, EST, and are should be in school. Grade school, middle school, high school, till they're 18. That's that. I have no legal responsibility for those two. I have no legal responsibility for Chelsea Mickle. I have no legal responsibility for Chelsea Marcel. I don't know who Tom is. I don't care to. I was told he has a PTSD from Iraq, Afghanistan, something similar, cold-blooded killer from the Middle East. I do not want to meet him. I do not want to meet him. Those two, Ethan McCutcheon and Chelsea Marcel, mentioned me in the eyes of court, Supreme Court, Connecticut Court, whatever. I did not defend myself. I'm defending myself now. Again, I was in touch with DCF, Connecticut State Social Services. I'm not a kitty rapist. I'm not a pedophile. I'm not anything similar. I was a backyard babysitter. So, if they get hurt, I drag them beyond the back fence into the ambulance or into their parents' house. At that point, I suppose it was Chelsea Marcel, Chelsea Mickle, or Ethan McCutcheon. Now again, there's been severe EMS in the area, and since 9.15 p.m., what, the day before yesterday? Is this Sunday morning? Weird, detective ask whatever's. Authority figure, nonsense. It's nonsense. I don't know. I moved out. Want nothing to do with those kids unless they're in school or in touch with social services, Connecticut State, DCF. I want nothing to do with Tom. I don't know his last name. I don't care to. Chelsea Mickle and Ethan McCutcheon, baby, turns five, goes to school. If it doesn't, that's that. I don't know. Probably more court. Probably more court or something similar. 
I doesn't know what this says about me. I know they took each other to court and they mentioned my name. I doesn't know what they said. So I'm assuming they said, I'd bad. Now, if those two kids were scarred, it's about in the house things because Chelsea Mickle and Ethan McCutcheon were attempting to conceive a child, an attempt to procreate life. They did. Congratulations for them. I'm not babysitting their kids anymore. The art isn't big enough. We're not putting a fence through. Again, 30 Merrick Avenue has an 1840 EST AD original garage from 1840 EST AD. And as far as I have been told, through all legal land authority, New London City, New London County, Connecticut State, next to the 1640 inspiration for the Pentagon, six generations back, a Swedish immigrant, last name Carlson, married a Mohegan woman. He showed up in USA 1790, New York City through Ellis Isle. By 1810, they had at least a 10,000 square foot. We're lucky we still have a 10,000 square foot today. In between 1810 AD and today, since 1996, under the new homeowners, permanent residence is still mine. It may have been larger land that was harboring slaves, Negroes. It was illegal. We were in the Underground Railroad. We got sued by the state of Virginia after a Virginian bounty hunter burnt down our larger property and martyred the harbored Underground Railroad Negro slaves. That's why it's not bigger. And again, in 1980, we had 1980. Just about 20 years ago, I suppose maybe closer to 40 by now, a Swedish family gathering in the heart of New York where the New Londonites went down to New York. Swedes flew over from Sweden for a family gathering all related in somehow between brother, sister, mother, father, daughter, son, cousin, one through five, one through six, best friends, in-laws, children, etc. They were slaughtered by over 200, maybe closer to 300, and now our family is separated. Because of that one incident in 1980-something, New York City. That's why we don't have much family. That's why we don't have much land. And that's why we're not sharing with what? Tom something with Danielle something with Celine something with Foster something with Ethan McCutcheon not all of them together can fit in that house in that tiny 0.2 acre it's a 0.22 acre that's not enough land for so many people even if they build a fence they can't all live there it's against the law it's not big enough so there's that, and as far as I know, my dad, my ma are almost senior citizens and moving to the other side of the planet. They said they'd leave me the property, 10,000 square foot, 30 Merrick. Do not damage the garage, do not trespass, do not damage the 1921 house. My grandpa was an Oval Office on call presidential advisor for close to one half a century after the Congressional Medal of Honor, after a voyage to China and back during World War II aboard a diesel nuclear submarine. He passed away in 2003, unfortunately, but besides that, he was also given a coffee mug and a telephone line to the King and Queen of Sweden. 
That is not a joke. That is not a joke. That is not a joke. That was my defense in the eyes of whatever Connecticut State Court, D.C. Supreme Court, anything that was brought up by whatever, anything, as well as a small history of the property which I lived 22 years and it's still my permanent residence. And a small history of the family I stem from, last name Carlson, immigrating from Sweden in 1790 AD. Marrying a Mohegan, that's on my father's side. Yes, I know. My granddad had a was FBI for 40 years. He immigrated from Scotland to the Blitzkrieg from Germany. He's a World War II refugee, and unfortunately he's passed away by, say, two years. About, so. And my Grammy is from Phoebe Hoffman, which was her maiden name. She was captured in Switzerland and saved by the USA after the Nazi Holocaust concentration camps. She was a World War II survivor that passed away in 2008. She made my Grammy with John Hyde, also known as John the Bull Hyde, and Mohegan Parson. Those two made my Grammy. Peter Lennon is my granddad. He's something Shepherd, Scotland, Gaelic Highlands, last name Shepherd. Lennon, last name Lennon, Scotland, Gaelic Highlands, related to John Lennon from the Beatles and Bob Shepherd, also known as Bob Weir from the Grateful Dead. That's my that's that's where I get my 